Hello. To today's lesson is Hunya. And today we shall be talking about the accounts. This is because um, Asantua Ford asked the question. She wanted to know the difference between the Asantis and the Fantis. So Asantua Ford, if you are saying this, this is to answer a question to teach you more about the Santis and the Fantis. Fantis, so you know the difference as you can. So she asks, can you explain the difference between San Asante and Fanti for me? Because I barely get a difference. Okay. So uh, when we say the Asante and the Fantis, first of all, know that they are the same people, okay? Is the same language group. And the language group is called the Central Canon Languages. But the central Tano languages we have, uh, they come from the Kwa language group. So the Kwa language group, okay, let me start this way. We have Niger Congo language that are spoken in West Africa and parts of Central Africa. And this Niger Congo languages, we have a branch called the Kwa languages, which uh, includes or involves closely related or similarly related languages such as Ga, Dangme, Akan. One and co. So under the Kwa, we have a branch under Kwa. So it's like Niger Congo Kwa. Then we have another branch that's the Central Kano. And, it's, and then the Tano language is okay. We it's also branches. We have the Guan, Bia, and then the Akan languages. So it's a branch. So let's look at the Akan languages here. This is the linguistic definition. So I want to go proper linguistics so that you may understand. So it's just a branch, okay, under the central color as Akan languages. And under Akan languages we have Fante as a Fante and then a tree languages. And for these tree languages we have a Asante tree, a Piapim tree, Buno tree, Wasa tree, Rara tree, Tapa tree, Kwehu tree, a Piapim tree. Akwemu tree, Achem tree, and so many other tree dialects, including Ahafu, and some pocketed dialects. Now, um, so I believe we've established this fact that they are all tree, okay, but then we have variations of the tree, mainly due to some petty petty dialectal variation. So we are made, you know, Asan, Asanti tree is widely known as well as Akwemu tree. You know, most people call Akwemu tree a Kriapim tree. So a Kriapim tree and Akwemu tree is the same tree. There's no difference. But guess that people prefer to call it a Kriapim tree. But then the actual name should have been Akwemu tree. But then that's not what will be. But then let's not go deeper into that. So now let's come back to Asante tree. So a Fante is also an Akan dialect. So definitely Fante is closely related to Asante. Okay. And as usual, Asante is also related to it's almost the same as Kweu, Achim and Ko. Maybe with Achim and Asante, I may say there's no difference. Maybe previously there were some dialectical variations, but at the moment, it's like there's little to no difference, it's almost the same. But it's with the Kwehu tree that you realize some pocketed differences. For example, Asante tree will say Afe Namaba, but then the Kwehu tree will say Ye Namaba. Ye Namaba. Maybe Asante tree will say Nyehi or Dyehi, it depends on which dialect. But then in Kwehu tree, you don't say Dyehi, you say Nyehi. Maybe as you say Akola, but in Kwehu Abofra, you know, and it goes on and on. So it's just some, and even when you say Nyawani and Ko, every account person knows. Maybe there's only a year and a half that we really looks a bit weird, but almost everyone would understand any other variation that occurs in the Kwehu. So Kwehu Ra Ra and Ko, I'm not sure there's much different, but maybe Buno Tree also. 
poses um, strange variations because Puno has this be, be, meaning them, which it shares with one languages a lot. Because in Gonja, there is also be, in Gichode, be. And then the via language in Zima and Kuru. Also, there's also be. So, Bunu, although she shares the be with one languages. Okay. So, I want to establish some little facts here before. So, let's compare. So, Bunu also called their uh, dialect of Akan Chi. So, Bunu Chi, Ahafu. I would say it's also related to Bunu, but there are some. Ahafu looks more Chi than Bunu. But Bunu has some. Pocketed differences like many are there, many are there means uh, in Q we we'll say a day are there, that's what is it? A day are there, or many are there in Bruno. In Bruno, what is me, but three is day. And no ones also say uh, me, so like maybe in Latte, we are me and co. Yeah, so me in is what in Bruno. Okay, there are many are there. What is it? Many are same. What's the issue? And she will say, and they are same, or they are same. Many are same, they are same. Maybe come and pass. One will say, best selling, but she will say, best saying. Maybe what did you say? She will say, well, I may. Then as I will say, we'll see then. So this tells us that even among the economy, there are some variations. But, uh, the variation, okay, is more, you realize the difference is more in Bruno, Fanti, and Asante. You got Asante to Wasa and Co, it's almost the same. Maybe Wasa tree, we have this SZ flip. But some words that are S in tree usually become Z in Wasa tree. So maybe that is a very not notable difference. Like, um, Nyensa, you can come in za and co in wasatri. Um, yeah, a whole lot. I'm not good with wasatri, but I've heard wasatri a lot, and I know where the S. I know that S and Z usually they are interchanged. So let's now that we've established this fact, okay? So now fancy. You know, fancy is a dialect of Akan. It's not a dialect of tree. It's a dialect of Akan. So. Fanti will say developed from a car by developed on its own. So it's very different. Now, three, the three languages also develop from a car, so but they develop on their own. So Fanti developed on its own direction. Tree developed on its own direction. Then the three language, there's less something like branching. Bono tree was actually because all of them acknowledge that they are speaking tree. So perhaps they might have spoken the same language back then. But then with time, due to geographical location and stuff, the variations have been established. So Fanti versus Asante tree, the first number is accent. Fanti has a rather funny, I don't know what is rather funny, no, a rather interesting accent. Fanti has a rather interesting accent. Unlike Asante tree, which uses a regular accent, or I would say the widely known accent. And Bunu tree tries to stay in between the Fanti accent and then the Asante accent. So let me give some example. She will say, we'll see then. That's what did you see? We'll see then. My Fanti is S-E then. We'll see then. s -E then. So you see, Fanti is, I don't know, is it highly pitched? s -E then. Like, the accent is very different. Where are you going? She is, we'll call him. But Fanti is Elekohi. Elekohi. Maybe she will say, Mebo wasu mamao. But Fanti will say, Mubo wasu. Okay, so, Mebo wasu, Mubo wasu. I don't know what, the Fanti, I don't know that it's fast. I, I, I just know that it's very interesting. So you can judge for yourself. I can't really describe the accent, honestly. So let me just give you an example and establish the fact for yourself. Uh, maybe Fanti would perhaps say um, Shabibi, Shabibi Mam, Shabibi Mam, but she will say Shabibi Mam, Shabibi, then she is Shabibi, so Shabibi, Shabibi, so we can get the, 
variation in accents. Now, aside this, okay, the fancy numbers, you know, there are so many that there is like too much variation in Asante tree and fans. Maybe with the numbers, Bono and Asante, that they're the same, there's no difference. But with Fancy and with Asante, there is difference. Because maybe one is Barco in Asante. My fact is, equal, equal, some say a core, but the dialect of Fancy I speak because um, I speak Guan, okay? So I speak if, if you too. That's the Senya if you too dialect. So I've been around the Mankesin area, so I know how to speak Fancy well. So equal. So I'm speaking the variation of Fanti or the dialect of Fanti I know. Apple, then a bien. But three is nienu. That's two. But Fanti is a bien. Then three in Asante is niensa. But Fanti is ebasa. So you see niensa ebasa. Now Fanti has these stops. These stops, like the stop. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go linguistics here. Let's stay low because not everyone is a linguist here. So four in trees and nine, but fact is none and none. Five is a no, fact is a no the same. Okay, in sia, in sia, in so in sun. When the fact has the stop, in sun, it stops. But she's in so I watching, watching. Okay, in crow and quen. What is a quen? Like you can feel the stop there. Then it do it do the same thing. Um as well, as sorry, as well. You realize even the fancy itself, okay, we have dialects. So fancy we can say it's it's a mother language, it's a, like a, a language on its own with its own daughter dialect. Because we have the Gomwa dialect. Aguna, some say Aguna is three, some most Aguna is fancy, but most Aguna believe that speaking fancy. But I would say Aguna is more or less three with fancy. Okay, I don't know where to put it. It's in between fancy and three. So Aguna dialect also on its own. From we have the Sense the centralized fancy dialect, then we have the tardy fancy. So, fancy is of your dialect. So, for example, um, the D sound in chi mostly where that are D, like chi will say adie, you know, with adie, we can establish that the uh, chi has double vowels, mostly this way. So, adie is a vowel, then a adie. But fancy you uh, usually convert the double vowels in a sense as one vowel. So instead of fancy say ade, they'll say ade. And this is where it's tricky. Um, no in fancy. Either, you know, for the Manchester Simpson, they'll say ade. Ade. Then getting to the Cape Coast end. Some say ade. And some say aze. So some have this dz, this palatalized d. Z. Z. Ad, and some will also use the proper Z as even food. Let's take the marketing area. So the food to speak fancy, they will say a divan, a divan. But then going close, going to the some will say a divan, some will say a ziban. So it depends on the dialect. So then you know, so in fancy, right? That the differences in dialect, okay, all the different dialects, but you are. They, they will be able to understand each other. That's compared to Chi because it depends to Chi. Chi will say a Gianne and it depends. They are completely different. Let's take Broom. In front is Emina. Emina. But Chi is a prior. Emina prior. They are totally different. So we can establish the fact that there are words, words that are totally different in front and in Chi. Like you can't easily understand. Now let's look at pronouns in Asante versus Fanti. You know the pronouns itself. We have some variations in pronouns. But let's say something like, um, let's take emphatic pronouns in three and Fanti. So me, as in me in Fanti is Amy, Amy. But three is me. But Fanti is Amy. Something in, so you get it, Amy. But me, very uh, on their own. 
Then you is Ewu in Fanti, but Asante is Wo. Then the rest are almost the same. Ono, Yen, Mo, they're almost the same. But then the first two parts, and maybe the then uh, three is Wo, but Fanti is usually uh, one, one like that, the one, the, the, the stuff. Okay. Also, I would like to uh, bring in this issue. You know, when we are forming continuous sentences in Chi, Chi doesn't have any auxiliary, but Fancy has an auxiliary. So, for example, where are you going? Chi will say, who will call him? But Fancy is Ele, the lemmas has an auxiliary to make, to tell one that this is a continuous statement. So, Ele call him. Let's let's take three. Who is there? Who is there? But first is Elie. Who is there? Elie. Who is there? Elie Banadi. Elie Banadi. Another Elie Banadi. Okay. There are dialects. Some will say Banadi or Abazi. Elie Abazi. Elie Banadi. After fancy dialects, I beg you, they are they are numerous. Okay. So. Uh, if you let's come to this Ebanazi thing, three is a day a day, a day a day. But those say Ebanazi or Abadi or Ebanazi, it depends on the dialect you are speaking. But you can establish that they are almost the same. Okay. So, uh, what are you eating? A lady, Abadi. Or elite depends on the elite the abadi or elite the abadi depend depend on the elite as you but look at you who would the elite or elite who would the so we have that three doesn't need an an auxiliary but fancy needs the auxiliary so now back to the pronouns uh, let's take the subject pronouns in three versus fancy like I said okay three is messy but fancy is messy. So even with the said, fancy is short, but she is long. Then you said this is the most important part. She is what say, but fancy is essay. Essay, what say? So you can see she is using wo, but fancy is using e. So, so you can see that e wo, that's you. Somehow they've separated the e to be a subject pronoun, then the wo is an object pronoun. But she wo wo throughout. Now, that aside, possession in fancy and tree, there's some clear variation. Let's take the word dog in tree versus fancy. In tree, dog is cramine, cramine. But in fancy, we have two. You know, mine's the, the type of fancy that has to be to the uh, foot to king, due to the foot to side. They say obodam, obodam. So obodam is dog. And and another side is bottom, bottom. So you can you have you have two names for dog. In fact, same bottom, same same for bottom. Okay. So uh, let's take Kwame. Kwame is an Akan. It's a Ghanaian name. Okay, cut across it. So Kwame is dog. Cheese. Kwame Kramai. Kwame Kramai. But in fact, you can't just say uh, Kwame or bottom. Because Obodam now has too many names. It can mean madness or a dog. Because the fancy the dog is seen as the mad creatures. Sorry for this, but that is it. At the same time, even Bodom, you can't say Kwame Bodom. No. It's not actually fancy. Kwame ne bodom. Another Kwame no bodom. Kwame. So fancy needs uh, an, an interjectory or should I say an adverbial pronoun or an interjectory to Link Kwame and then the now. It needs something to be, but three can just go straight. So Kwame no bottom, and then Kwame ni bottom, but three is Kwame Kramai. Uh, let's take onion in Fanti. Fanti is Anyo, then three is Jene. So maybe Ama, Ama ne Anyo. Okay, you need the. Uh, Auxiliary to help you make the sentence, but in three, I'm a Jane, and as I'm a Oyo, but in Fanti, you need something to just help link it. I hope you are getting it. 
And also, uh, when you study three versus fancy, but there are so many words, okay? I can say there are so many words that are said in three and said the same as fancy, but then the pronunciation in fancy and then the accent usually makes the word strange, but they are usually the same thing. Maybe, for example, um, human. Maybe human. She will say nipa. My fans will say nipa. Usually they have this NY, nipa. Uh, I know, fans is mean name, but she is mean name. She is mean name, but fans is mean name. She will say mean name, say, but fans is mean name there. Mean name, say, met to me, aye. That's true. Mean name, say, met to me, aye. But fans is mean name there, motu maye. Mean name there, motu maye. So you realize the same thing, but the pronunciation varies somehow. But you can technically understand everything. Maybe I understand, maybe to a tree person, you should not be a person. Do you understand trees? Like, understand. Meet tree. My fancy is meeting fancy. Meet tree. Meeting fancy. Like, you can get the accent. Or meet it. Nansu me to minka. That's true. Meet it. Nansu me to minka. But fancy, meeti, nasu muntu munka, meeti, nasu muntu munka, like, uh, anyway, <laughs> like, and fancy has a lot of English words borrowed, as well as ga words. Fancy has words they share with ga as well. For example, it is hot, trees, eh, eh, okay, eh, but fancy, some will say, eh, show. Or ado, and guys, edo, ado, edo, and it like there are so many where I don't, I, I, I think of some of this escaped me, but you know, before doing this video, they were all over my head, but I don't know why they escaped me. But there are some down words all over fancy, and fancy is on the channel of bear witness. But there are so, so many with down. much said, okay. The difference between Asante and Fanti, well, they are all Akan languages. But the thing is, they are dialects of Akan. So with dialect, as you should, there will always be variations. But Fanti, Fanti is a dialect of Akan, Chi is a dialect of Akan. And when we take Fanti, Fanti has its own dialect, and Chi has its own dialect. So Chi is a language on its own, with its own Chi dialect, like Asante Chi and Co. Now, fancy is also a language on its own. It's its own fancy dialect. So this is one thing we are supposed to establish. Uh, let me see if I can put under example. Like I'm doing something. In case me ya adie, me ye adie. My fancy is me le me me le ye adie, me le ye adie. Let's example in three. This is true. Missy Bra never shall be mammy. But fancy, Missy Bra never shall be be mammy. Missy Bra never shall be be mammy. Okay. Let's take another word. Why ye a dear no avi? Why ye a dear no avi? Baba fancy. I had in a wee. I had in a wee. Okay, so technically you can understand. So as uh, to to ask a question, most fancies can understand chi, but some chi speakers struggle to understand fancy because it's more like fancy is the Brazilian. When we compare Brazilian Portuguese and Portuguese, most Brazilians struggle to understand Portuguese itself, but Portuguese speakers barely struggle to understand Brazilians. The same thing with Fanti. Fanti has this Anglo touch, Dutch touch, Portuguese touch, so it has made it a bit different. It has moved far, but you know, we have a situation at the moment where some Fanti dialects are now becoming a kind, or a story are now becoming cheap. You know, some are more. And we, we are seeing the loss in purity of fancy languages over time. Well, some may say either they are busily speaking English, so perhaps they are forgetting their fancy and not 
then you're gonna follow the fight now the opportunity with G or G is dominating so the fancy is mating with G because obviously it is closely related to G if you can say that and yeah I would like to chip in this word maybe G you are insulting me G will say who you hear me who you hear me but fancy is Elisha Mahroba so you can get something here and when you, you tell a person if a fancy and he hear me, the fancy person will understand you perfectly. But when you tell a tree man, oh, she my roba, like, what is what I say? But the fancy man will definitely understand Liam. That is tree like fancy. But then the proper fancy is Elisha my roba, not Elisha, Elisha my roba. So fancies generally understand tree. But not all tree speakers would easily understand fancy. So please, is there any que question you would like to ask? Just any question. Don't shy away from asking. I'll be waiting the comments box to ask. And also, do well to share for others to keep learning something new. And like I always say, it's all about Ghana languages. Nah, you don't want to say. Go, go.